Hello? Hello? Yes, uh, I'm sorry, did I, did I, did I, I'm sorry, um, who, did I dial the right number? Is this, uh, Tampa PD? Yeah, this is Tampa Police Department Internal Affairs Bureau. Oh, okay, um, so, I have an ongoing situation that I don't know how to solve. Okay. Um, basically, your officers have lied, um, at this point in time, they're, they're doing things that at least other police departments have said are not, uh, orthodox or within the law, um, the best I can tell is apparently you have some reason um, to to you know to to believe that uh, you've acted in the proper way. I that doesn't seem to be correct, um, and it's an ongoing issue. So there's kind of there's a duality of what's happened in the past, um, and then what can be done now to solve the ongoing issue. Okay, please please explain. So, like I said, you're, I mean, when, when it, there's two, there's two issues, right? So there's, there's your officers have not, either have not done things that they should have done by law, um, or have done things improperly. Um, so there's that, but that is still, because it's still an ongoing event, it's still an ongoing event. So the focus on the past is, seems improper, um, because there is still an ongoing issue, but that doesn't mean that your police department may not have made the decision or, policies or whatever, you know, the way you function, it may be best to focus on the past kind of injustices or the past things that have happened, uh, since you're not, you don't seem to be able to recognize the fact that this is, there's, a, there's still an ongoing problem. Okay. Who specifically are you talking about? Which officer? Well, there's multiple. I mean, there's multiple. The, the most recent, I believe, is Officer Cruz. Um, but I have, I mean, I had the phone call recorded. You can listen to it. Um, it's just, it's absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, I, I don't even want to get into it because that's the whole thing. It's like, Right now, the situation is that I have no idea why any of the officers um, involved have acted the way they have, and so I can't I can't address it without having any answers. Okay, do you have a case number or something? I have an incident number, uh, and this 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 kind of speaks to what it is. Um, before I give you the incident number, just so you can kind of understand what happened at this incident, um, I called in a wellness check on my mother. I told them at the time um, that there was a related case in San Francisco with an officer. Um, there were two officers involved. One had retired. One was still on the case. For some reason, as far as what I was just told recently in a phone call, um, they only they said that they contacted the officer that was retired, but the officer's retired. So if that happens, there's already something improper going on. Um, but to, also to kind of summarize that, what I was told was that by contacting the officer here in San Francisco, that officer is the reason that they decided that there was nothing more to do on the wellness check. So there's two things going on there. One... Um, they never, they never contacted SFPD. Um, and then SFPD themselves has said Tampa shouldn't be, shouldn't, shouldn't not, uh, complete or kind of, you know, investigate the wellness of my mother, uh, based on what they said, because it makes no sense because they're in San Francisco. They don't know anything about my mother. Does, you know, kind of get what I'm saying? So you call the Tampa police department to get a wellness check on your mother who lives here? Is that, is that what happened? Yes. Okay. And, and, you have a problem with the way the, the officers dealt with the situation? No, it's not I have a problem. There is a problem. So, th again, so going back to whether or not you want to focus on the past or now, currently there is a problem, period. Okay. Can you explain what the actual problem is? Well, my mother's mental health is no is, is no good. And by now she's already lied to police officers multiple times, um, as well as there's this therapist in Florida who supposedly she's her he she is his patient, um, but he's not he's not responding to phone calls. He hasn't responded. He, he spoke to me for an hour and a half, said he was going to, um, have my mother evaluated. He didn't have my mother evaluated. And then he's kind of either ghosted me and her or just ghosted me. Again, my mother's mental health is not there. So I don't know what's going on. Um, the last text I have from my mother is stating that my uncle, for some reason, contacted her. But the last time I spoke to my uncle was in Halloween of last year. Uh, excuse me. And then uh, he called me crying. I have no idea what was going on. Uh, it's the same thing that's going on with my mother's mental health. Like my mother seems to believe that these people want to contact me, but they only can do it through her, but they can contact me themselves, so there's no, there's, I, that, my mother's mental health doesn't make any sense, and now with the doctor involved, it's even stranger. Okay, now, so I guess, I guess what you're, so the police went out there to evaluate your mother's mental health, so basically we, we, we have the ability to bake rack. Did you, did you feel that she needed to be bake racked? That, so, I, this is the problem. That happened years ago. So years ago, my mother called me, and as far as, again, this is one of those situations where because Tampa PD is staying silent, it makes it difficult to understand what to do. 
However, years ago, my mother texted me saying she wanted a psychiatric evaluation. At the time, I did not know that in Florida, that is qualification for a Baker Act. But she did. So I don't know to this day whether or not she did that on purpose or not. But what happened was because she lives in a gated community, when the officers got there, then she, I guess, just said, oh, I don't want it. Or she, something happened where the police officers made a decision. And instead of looking at her text messages or anything else, they just said, oh, she doesn't, she never said that. And they never did anything else. Um, my mother herself has, I have text messages where my mother says, I delete the text messages every time the cops come here. Um, which again is very odd because it's, if my mother didn't want to have any contact with me, she didn't, she doesn't have to. She's still contacting me consistently while telling the police in Tampa that she doesn't want to have any contact with me. I guess one thing that I forgot to kind of just summarize it, all the evidence that my mother has some issues is by you guys. You guys have it. It's, you're the ones who have it more than I do. I can send you copies of the text messages and everything else, but just by the fact alone that my mother, as far as I know, shouldn't be denying the fact that she just contacted me, and by the incident that I gave you, as far as I know, again, from what Tampa PD told me, she told those police officers at that time that she wanted nothing to do with me, and that apparently I was just calling for money, and there was no reason for, for me to be concerned, and that she, you know, that she would never contact me again. And yet she turned around that same day and still kept contacting me. Okay, so the only time we can bake rack anyone is if they, if we can show that they're in danger of hurting themselves or they're in danger of hurting others. Or if they, or if they requested a psychiatric you evaluation. You can voluntarily bake rack yourself if you're having issues. Um, or, really the only time that no, you're, you're, you're forgetting, you're, you're, you're missing one point. You're missing one point. Or, as I said, or when you request a psychiatric evaluation and then deny it. And that's what my mother has done multiple times. My mother has contacted me multiple times stating that she wants a psychiatric evaluation. Again, even if you just go now by just fraud or whatever's going on with this doctor, this doctor is supposed to be taking care of this. My mother says that she wants to have a relationship with me. This doctor is supposed to be facilitating that, and he's nowhere to be found. And yet my mother, again, is still displaying signs of mental health, uh, you know, distress. So the, the problem that's the only issue that's happened is when the officers get there, they're literally not looking at anything else. They're looking at no evidence. They're assuming that apparently I've called for malicious reasons, take her word on it, and then don't look at any evidence to the contrary, even though it's happened multiple times. Again, the first time I could understand. Maybe even the second time, because there's times, you know, there's, there's, there's a, there's a, a, a space of time in between them. But this makes no sense whatsoever. At this point in time, it makes none. There's, my mother has contacted a doctor in Tampa in order to resolve this. My mother has contacted the police in Tampa, supposedly, in order to resolve this. It's still happening. That obviously means something's going on with my mother. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm still confused on how this is a police issue. Well, I just mentioned a few. So did you did you not hear me state that she contacted a, a, a doctor? Yeah, I heard that. And, and she should be under under uh, medical care then, correct? And No. By that doctor? Yeah, that is correct. What, what is not correct is your line of thinking. Okay, well, what, do you, what would you like to see happen? I'm trying, I'm trying to get to the, get the outcome here. For you to be able to express one thought fully. You haven't given me anything that where I'm actually, let me, let me explain something here. We do investigations on officers for policy violations. Yeah, I understand all that. I don't need an education from you. Again, I said clearly for you to express one thought clearly. I don't know where you're going to this like fucking let's take me to school shit, but I'm taking you to school. Express one thought fully. You just talked about the doctor. I explained to you there was a crime involved and there's fraud involved. And all you said is as if all that's correct. Now, if you believe that to be correct, explain to me why you believe that to be correct. Uh, listen to me. I'm, you're not making any sense here. I don't understand what the, your actual complaint is on these officers. What is your complaint on these officers? Well, once again, can you recall what happened during the wellness check? No, I don't even know her name. I need to, I need to look her up and investigate that. Okay, so would you like to do that and call me back? Because, again, that's part of the issue, which, it's in summary, is I have no idea what the hell any of these officers and how they made their decisions, and neither do you. Yeah, so let me get her name, and I'll look that up. Wait, I gave you, did I not give you the incident number? No, you did not. All right, it's a, oh, that's right, I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Um, it is 254-128. What is your name? Charlie. It is, it should be, see, and again, I'm not trying to be difficult on this, but honestly, this is the problem. So on that particular call, I, I, I'm not sure if it was that one or another one. Um, no, on that one, I did receive a call back. Um, and I, again, I have that call recorded if you have any questions as to what 
notes you have on that call and what actually happens because that's the problem. But um, on a more recent call that I called and didn't get fulfilled for a wellness check, because um, like I said, my mother still contacted me pretty much every other day or so. Um, I didn't get a call back, but I have my phone number was on there. And there's there is a really big issue uh, that should not be disregarded, which is the police have multiple times seem to believe that I may be Thomas when I called. Thomas is the name of my stepfather who lives with her. Um, and also, I just kind of want to clarify, since I have you on the phone, and maybe just kind of could lead to the confusion, This doesn't make it doesn't make any sense to me to continue to try to communicate with my father because of the history that I know, which is, one, my father is not likely to stand up to my mother in situations like this. It just is what it is. Uh, and two... I have no desire to harass anyone. And so there would, it would make no sense for me to continue calling my father and being like, Hey, what's going on? What's going on? Especially again, this is where it becomes complicated when it seems as if everything indicates that they would like to have the police involved. I can give you theories as to why either way they all end up with my mother has some sort of mental health issues. Um, because again, it's not as if, uh, they haven't, provided the police with more than enough reasons to do something, including now calling a, you're calling a, a, a psychotherapist in, in Florida. Uh, to clarify, she's never done that before. She's always called psychotherapists outside of Florida to avoid the potential Baker Act. This time, as far as I know, and as she has said before, she seemed to have called a therapist in Florida understanding that she would be able to get Baker Act. Did you get all that? I know it's a lot. But it is basically about Thomas. Um, that that is a very weird confusion. Your officer should not be confused as to who's calling in, uh, because if that it, it would what that would indicate is that there there may be domestic issues with my mother and my father, and he's called in, um, and they you know and they're assuming that I'm you know that that I'm him calling in on my mother, and that's an, a whole nother issue and problem if that actually has been happening, and not only has my mother been holding back on that information, but so has Tampa PD. Okay, now they did document some of this did you try to reach out to our records department and see if you can get reports so no um because what i've been told i've been this is this is part of the kind of problem with the the complaint um and it's it's one of those again for me there's there's an there's a current issue um that's much more important than me going back and, and documenting every single officer uh because realistically if it gets resolved i don't really have much of a need to um but it, it's, it's the issue of i've been told different things at different times as far as whether or not documentation is even available um, and or what do, what that documentation contains. Um, so like I said, um, it seems appropriate that you can give me a call back, let me know what exactly it is that is preventing anybody from moving forward from doing anything, um, including just making sure things are documented. Because again, at this point in time, from what you're stating, if there's documents, there should be no question that the last time my mother, you know, I called in a wellness check. My mother said she was not going to contact me. She is still contacting me. She's also contacted a therapist who is supposed to be contacting me and isn't. All of this is happening in Tampa, and all of them have various levels of enforcement of violations of the law. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm reading this report here from June 12th, um, and they do meet with Tom. Who, is that her husband? I, I believe so. And the, the reason I say that is, this is, it sounds ridiculous, but that's how long they've been together. They've been together long enough that they have been married and divorced a few times. Okay. Um, well, they, they spoke to Tom, and they, the police officer spoke to your mom as well. And then both your mom and Tom stated that the, they're called welfare checks. Yeah, and that's the problem. Like, yeah. the last several years. Again, so that's, that's right then and there, there's an issue, because they can't be false wellness checks. It could have been in the past. They can't be at this point in time. Simply because, at that point in time in June, um, sorry, I don't want to go in circles. You have the evidence of it. She said that then. You Now you know she said that then. Again, I'm letting you know now, just like I did a couple weeks ago, which is could be the focus of this call if you want it to be, um, where I called uh, Detective Cruz. A couple weeks ago. I'm sorry, what? Did you speak to someone a couple weeks ago? Yes, I called in a wellness check a couple weeks ago. Again, to just kind of finish the thought, um, you have the evidence right then and there then. My mother, as far as, as far as you know, um, shouldn't be calling me and shouldn't be contacting me and yet is. That seems to be, you know, that doesn't seem to be, that is a problem. Um, especially considering the fact that now my mother has said she as far as she has sought out a therapist that says that there, she, she herself acknowledges, um, there are mental health issues and yet she's not, she's not acting accordingly. So there is a problem. Okay. Well, 
Well, let me look into this and let me give you a call back. I think your number just popped up here. Yeah, it, it should be 415-637. Is that correct? The beginning? Yeah. Yep. Okay. I see it there. Yep. I got it right here. And um, let me look into this a little bit more and I'm going to give you a call back, okay? Okay. Thank you.